Hey everyone, good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're watching. This video is going to be about, well, three things. Mainly, the Julian fire starter. Also, an oversized upside down fire in the fire pit, the solo fire pit. See how it goes down. And then also, I'm going to grab this real quick. This is what's left of a traditional Swedish torch fire where you cut down a stump into four or six pieces. You can see one piece, you know, still around. But that is one big hunk of wood that's going to be hard to burn. So when this fire burns down later this evening, I'm going to put that in the solo fire pit and see if it will get rid of it. When I say get rid of it, if it will burn it up. I'm normally the heat inside of these and the efficiency is so good. I think it'll burn that thing. Otherwise, you know, that would be tough to burn. This video is also going to be considerably shorter than the last couple. Um, I don't mean for them to come out like 18 to 25 minutes and I don't want to watch 18 to 25 minute videos myself. Okay, on to this, the Julian fire starter. The reason I call it that is I bought it at a store, the Julian Market and Deli in Julian, California, when my wife and I were visiting last week, just as it started to snow. They didn't give me any directions. This is literally how you buy it. I don't even know what I paid because I grabbed this and something else, swiped my card and ran. I did ask the older seasoned, slightly grizzled local store owner or employee about the fact that this is so overkill. Like that's wax, wood shavings, you know, wood dust and a wick. And it, it's just huge. So if you're, if you like starting fires, uh, or you're into it as bushcraft, you, you know, like this will start like five, 10 fires. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna cut it in half. Like I haven't even opened yet. I don't even know if you're supposed to take the wax paper off. I mean, why take it off? It'll burn, right? But I am gonna try and cut it in half because it's just so much more. I mean, that's just a gargantuan amount of wax. So I'm gonna use this to light a fire. She did say that the people that come to Julian, uh, the folks that come and visit, uh, don't know how to light fires. And so this works for them, which is, you know, funny, but it's probably going to work really insanely well. So we're going to find out how that works. All right. Also, I want to say thanks to 73 Forge making this giganto knife and giving it to me. It's actually uh, the chainsaw bar. So out of the center of a chainsaw, how he did it, I have no clue, but it seemed like the uh, knife for the job. I seriously was thinking I should probably just try and melt this because whatever I do is probably going to cause a mess. Yep. And not just cut through it. All right, definitely came out better than I expected. I was afraid this whole thing would just self-destruct. All right, so that is what we're gonna use. So how do you light a candle wick with a ferro rod? Well, you don't. You use something like this. Wow, that is one tough wick. It's one tough fat wood. All right, so. <laughs> that is so nuts. I don't even know if I want to record that. How long is that gonna take? Well, let's see. They probably have to get it under some of the wood. So normally I'd put all my kindling right on top Blam. What we're gonna do
as always thank you Nathan 4071 if you would like to get one of these insane ferro rods with a high speed striker I mean look at this I don't know it's been two three years it doesn't even look like there's any wear on that custom handle won this from a 73 forge giveaway it's not even a good demonstration but this thing is awesome Isn't it amazing how the fire burns down? I'll, I'll never get over that. Look at that. So it's down to the bottom wood. That piece right there with the black, right there, that's the bottom. It is a torch. Oh, look on this side. Hasn't gotten to the bottom yet. That's the, okay, that's the second from the bottom. And then that over there is the bottom. Oh my goodness, it's a warm, lovely fire. I should have timed it. Well, I guess I'll look in when I started the first video and that'll tell me the time. Wow, gorgeous. I do think the solo fire pit's coming into play now, however, because the heat is heating up down low, heating up the outside wall, heating up the air inside. You see the fire starting right there. That's interesting. Let's see how hot it is. Wow, so it's hot at different levels. Halfway up, it starts to get really hot. Below that, it's actually cold enough to feel like a chilly day outside. Oh, nice. This is a really nice solo fire pit fire. You'd never think that you would throw the wood above and beyond the fire pit. At least I didn't before, but you can see Oh, I don't think it's picking it up. Maybe it's picking it up, maybe it's not. But you can see the fingers of flame coming out of the solar fire pit vents, and you definitely can see it right there. Oh, I like it a lot. Well, that is amazing. Love this fire pit. I don't think I'm going to make any adjustments. I would normally kick some of that wood in, move something around, but, well, I think maybe I should. And I'll tell you why. The top woods needs to fuel the rest of the wood. All right. Now, oh, Oh, now the solo fire pit's coming into play. Oh man, this is gonna be gorgeous. Gorgeous. -y. All right, got a nice solo fire pit fire going. Um, like I always say, you, you can't have it sparse. And it's not sparse right now, but you don't see those fingers of fire going. You don't see a lot of the solo fire pit action. I mean, it's happening. That's why it's a nice fire, but you don't, you don't get to see it. 
So here goes the experiment. Here goes, can I burn that hunk of hunk of burning log from the Swedish fire torch, traditional fire that I did the other night, which will get uploaded soon, I hope. But let me put that sucker on and speed up the camera. All right, that will be extra amazing if it works. Let's speed this sucker up and find out what happens. But it looks good so far. Now you're starting to see more of that solo fire pit heat coming up the side and just attacking that wood. Dang, look at that. Look at that. And, that, and this sucker was in the rain too. Look at it. Those are the fingers of fire right there. All right, I'm not gonna bore you with commentary. Let's see what happens. So this is what it looks like. Gigantor. Even I'm a little bit thinking I overdid it. We'll see what happens. All right, I'm going to throw in one log, because like any furnace, you know, if you're trying to have a furnace, I mean, you're trying to smelt something, smelt something, if you're going to try and really melt something, you're going to have to feed the fire, right? So, we'll see how that goes. Wow, so for the last 24 seconds, that actually was recorded over 26 minutes. That's the new Samsung. I've got the Note 10 Plus, and it's whatever update they have sped up my uh, my hyper loop video or hyper video. So that was awesome. I can't wait to watch it. Oh, there's normal speed right there. It's burning nice. Gonna go back to high speed. I'll tell you how many hours it's been when we're done. You gotta wait till the end. Looks like the solo fire pit is doing its job again. Thinking I'm going to stick one more piece of wood in there just to uh, keep the heat going. The bottom is fiery, fiery hot, but we need a little bit more. All right, it's been over three hours now, and we got that huge piece of log almost gone. I'm sure I could throw more logs in there and 
get rid of that guy. Alright, the total fire time has been over three hours. Got a chunk of log left in there. If I threw more wood in there, I know I could, like a furnace, get rid of it. But I'm just going to let it go and see what happens. All right, been over four hours, and that, well, four hours for the whole fire, but that, that log is a shell of itself. Look at that. Just amazing. Well, I'm going to say something I don't normally say, but I hope you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good night.